So we have understood the importance of arguments, right? We have understood the difference between formal arguments and actual arguments. Now let's understand in detail about the types of arguments one by one. So first let's start our journey with positional arguments because the word positional itself says you are trying to match the position, right? But let me make it simple. When you go for positional arguments, it is as simple as it is. These are the arguments that are passed to a function in correct positional order. That means the number of arguments defined in the function definition should match exactly with the function call. That's it. If the number of arguments are same, you, are, you won't get any positional arguments error. But if the number differs, that's where you get an error with positional arguments. Right? It's simple, right? So let's execute the same point. Only remember one thing, when you say position, it should match the correct positional order, right? If you are giving two in the function definition, make sure that you call two values in the function call. Otherwise, you are surely going to get an error, right? Even if you try to pass uh, the type also, make it passed correctly. That is the reason these are also called as required arguments or positional arguments. When we say required, it is mandatory, right? Now, let's execute this thing. So let me open my IDLE and we'll go with the implementation part. So if I don't want to see the above script result, what do you do? You just keep everything in triple quotes. You can see every above programs are in green color. That means I don't want to execute them every time. So now let's start with positional arguments. The name itself says the number of arguments should be matched. Obviously, positional arguments are also called as required arguments that means it should be matched in correct positional order the number of arguments in function definition should match with the function call that's it so always keep that thing in mind and uh, let me create a function with the name def i mean the function keyword is def and i create my function name as it so my function name is it and what do i do is I just pass some arguments like uh, s1 comma s2. My function name is it and I am just trying to pass two arguments and my doc string is basically positional arguments demo. I am writing my own way. You can create your own ways. It's up to you. Positional arguments demo. So this is my description part. And now what do I write to logic? The logic can be very simple. So what do I do is I just try to create something like S3 is equal to S1 plus S2. You are expecting that different logic. You can go with your own logic. It's fine. My intention is very simple to make you understand the concept in the very easiest way. And whether you return or whether you print, it's up to you. What do I do is I just write in a different way. So print of I give total string. Because my intention is I am trying to take string only. But when I gave plus, I can take two lists, two integers or two float values, whatever it is. It's up to user logic. So if I am clearly mentioning plus here, that's where you are trying to make sure that it should be only string, right? Now, what do we do is we call the function. What is our function name? IT. So call IT function and basically pass two strings. Because I am making it mandatory. Why? If I gave plus here. This is a string and this is a string. Now clearly, when you pass the values to your function, it of, so just make sure that what you are trying to give, I try to give Saket and I just give Vijayavada. These are my two arguments. Now when I save, so what is the output you are expecting? Saket plus Vijayavada, Saket Vijayavada, right? That should be the result and along with the print. So total string, you can see that result. Very good, you got the exact result. But what if, if I pass in a different way like this? See, when you give S1, S2, this is your positional arguments demo. That, that's the doc string you are seeing. I give 1, comma 2. So when you save and when you execute it, you will be getting a type error. It can only concatenate string. Why? Because we gave here plus. That's one take. So if you don't want to make sure in that case, you can directly remove plus and keep comma. Then automatically there is a difference over there. You can execute two things. You can take two strings and two numbers. 
but my intention is only to take string that is the reason this will not be done but how does this is differing with positional arguments and what is that now you'll understand so when you just try to pass only one string like code see when i gave only code when you start executing this you can clearly see a error called as it function is missing one required positional argument s yes, 2 that is the reason you should clearly match the number of arguments defined in the function definition should be with function call as here one argument is missing one argument is missing and what happens if you increase the number of arguments like code nan and you can write something like socket again that means you are giving three you are expecting okay if it is three how does that will happen no again you will be thrown an error in a different way where it takes only two positional arguments but you are giving three here it is missing here we are giving more than what we require that's where positional arguments should be taken into consideration when you just rely on it or when you just try to work on it okay so just make sure that it depends only on user interest accordingly but make sure that if you are relating to strings or any separate cases clearly clearly mention what is the type of a result you are expecting right here one argument is extra that's where positional arguments play a very key role for every built-in function and for every user defined function only remember the number of arguments defined in function definition should match with function call